What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you have a chain? Why do we need a sign? Morning. I'd say good morning. Well, it is a good morning. The sun's shining. It's like 15 degrees out though, so it's a little chilly. And last night, we forgot to put the hose or reel the hose in. We got used to those uh, nice temps we were having. And yeah, it just slipped our mind to bring the hose back from the milk house. So she's thawing. Well, I've already got it thawed out now. I got milk fed. I got the pigs fed. And then the boys lost interest in doing chores. So while I ran them to the house, the hose was soaking, she thawed out. Uh, we're gonna finish chores, just water the critters. And then we're gonna haul a couple loads of poo. And then I think I'm gonna hang those pink gates because Petunia is currently in with Peter and that's not where we left her last night. Although we are planning on weeding the piglets so it's not the end of the world. And we wanna get her serviced. So she needs to be with him. And they're being friends, so I'm just going to leave them together, and then we'll watch for heat, and hopefully have more bacon seeds here in three months, three weeks, three days. So yeah, I'm going to get the pigs watered, and then go hit the tractor. Look at that steamy load. That's just the natural breaking down of the manure. It creates gas and heat, and on this crisp morning, it's steamy. So we're out here in the field. That's where I've been hauling. It goes around the field that way. So this is where we took the water off and this is where I want to put it back because it helps build up the soil nutrients. Uh, obviously anything cows don't eat, they help break down and that helps our crops grow. So we're gonna spread this load and go do another one and another one. And then I think we might be done for the day. I don't know. But I bet you on my next trip I have kids because they see me take off and they like going for tractor rides. Let's get this thing unloaded. So first, open the tailgate. Second, downshift. Third, PTO. We're spinning. We're gonna close the tailgate a little bit. And we're gonna rev her up. Now we're going. Slinging. my phone to record. I don't have to turn around to see how I'm doing. And I've done this enough, I really don't need to look backwards. There's a good view for you.
Good loader washed up. She's pretty. Don't mind the wheels. They need a little paint. But we're going to throw some grease in it. Uh, I did grease it right before I washed it. I just felt like pumping some grease in there. And now we're going to pump some more in to push any water out that's sitting in any of the pivot points. So, got the handy dandy grease gun. Yeah, we're advanced. No more handgun or hand powered hand powered yeah yeah nope we got a we got a power grease gun uh bought that when i got the combine just because there's so many grease points on that so i'm gonna throw some grease in this but i thought i'd show you my beautiful welds here yeah yeah it's lasted a week i mean there's a little splatter there but you'll have that and then before i washed it i drilled and tapped that one and this one was broke off. 
drilled and tapped that one. So now, now they'll taste, whoa, whoa, the sun's going crazy. Now we can grease everything. Ooh, look at that pretty sunset going on there. Trying, trying. There we go. She's gonna be a beaut. <laughs>